I fucking love Klonoa! Hey guys, um, I think doing two games tonight would maybe be a little bit unwise on my part. You guys know that if there's anything I love more than Klonoa, it's the Legend of Spyro remakes. Guys, I really don't want to do that game anymore! Um, but more importantly, uh, is this supposed to be silent? No, there's noise. Okay. But, uh, the final levels of the first GBA Klonoa got, like, really difficult and really long. So, I don't want to mess around. Now, it's time for the finals. Oh yeah, there's like some crazy shit that happened last time. Whoa, 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 whoa! Speaking of crazy shit, it's continuing to happen. This should speed things up. I love this like three quarters upwards turned Klonoa. If you win Klonoa, I'll spare the girl. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a comment or not. You have won. Won Klonoa. First dropped playthrough hog champ. Don't? No, I have to though. But I have to though. If not, you'll both become gears. I almost misread that. And I thought it said you'll both become genders. Hey, that's playing dirty! I thought I was being generous. <gasps> Klonoa? Popka! Be careful! Gans shot me! <gasps> and trapped Lolo! He did this? What? If only I'd protected her. <gasps> Popka's dead! See, when I played Klonoa 2 and I first got to meet these characters, I'm like, Oh no, something bad is gonna happen to them! And I kept like, expecting something bad the whole time. And I had that like, horrible anxiety, but then it never came to pass, so I'm like, oh, okay. That story's wrapped up then, nothing to worry about. They played the long game. Popka! <laughs> I warned them. I do what I set out to do. Hey, cool down. The weaklings are out of the game. That's all. Shut up! <gasps> Holy shit! No way, buddy! I'll show you! This is more like it. I'll get rid of you easy. I'm gonna defeat you and then go after a garland. Let's settle this! The stage for the final is the center of my mechanical empire, the Garland Castle. Off you go, to the last stage. <gasps> Okay, that's good to know that this definitely is the last world then. This got fucked up fast. Yeah, this got wild. <laughs> oh, is it like in a dome? Is that like the thumbnail? I can't wait to see what the world map looks like. Oh, it's like on a gear. It was like, I don't know, drones, I guess. Whoa. This is a beat. I was hoping for instance. Bring it? Okay. Oh, <gasps> gear moves. Whoa, this music. I'm getting some major Sonic Advance vibes from this. Something about certain GBA platformers of this era loved like that that fat thumping, throbbing bass. Oh, this is like a banger! I'm like super here for this. I need to like find moves to break these boxes with though. I was trying to get over, but I just have to like go through. And if there's something that I can get from here, yeah, and then I take you down. If that's even possible? <gasps> Maybe I can like loop back around and come up. What is this item? There's no more like Nagapoko hints, so I'll never know. 
If these are like more challenging from here on out, I'm actually cool. I'd be cool with that. Oh, look at the sprite for this thing. This structure to the right, it looks like it has like a face. Hmm. Oh, that's what I needed that for. Okay. I don't think there is a door like to the upper left. Because there's like stuff in that first room that I missed, I'm pretty sure. So if I take you... I want to know what this switch does. That's my problem. Oh, it's it's a it's a triplet. I gotta get, like, the whole sequence in, like, one fell swoop. Oh, that's gonna be rough. That's gonna be tricky. Oh, boy. I'm just wondering if it's like if it's smarter to do it on the way up or on the way down. There we go. It was smarter to do it on the way down. Anyways, hello everybody. How have you guys been doing? It's been a couple days. Oh, <gasps> these thingies. I forgot that this was even what I'm here for. I've been like, I've been doing Klonoa dirty. Oh, yeah, I was wondering, like, how to get backwards through here, but this is a, a double tall door, so I can just go through this. Oh, <gasps> I could bring one of these with me. Oh, maybe I can't. <laughs> oh, but I know what I can do. Um, because there's a, there's a normal, like, flying moo, like, up here, isn't there? And then I take you, go down the gap, and then through the door. Don't know why that didn't occur to me sooner. But yeah, now we can explore more of this area. Hmm, so there's another box over here that needs to be broken, isn't there? <gasps> Extra life, yes please. No, there were two, and I already broke both. Do I need to be up here? Let's do some scrolling. I did miss a gem. There is a pinball thing, and there is a key door. So definitely stuff to look out for. I think I can, like, bring you with me across all this distance, if that's where I'm trying to get to. Or is it? Oh, I don't know if I can do this. Hmm. Well, what's the way, then? I guess I can do this. Oh. Well, let's check out this room first. Or just get the gem. All right, all that sorted out. There you are! I thought you were, like, banned. Suryu's message. If you get this message, that probably means oh, I've been turned into a gear. If you have courage and justice in your heart, please win the tournament and save everyone from Garland's evil hands. I am praying for your victory. I also pray for Klonoa's victory. Suryu. Well, this is another one of these situations. I really wish I knew what, like, sort of mechanism this was supposed to, like, represent. Like, I genuinely don't know what I'm looking at. Well, okay. So, I can have a staircase on either side. Like, one at a time. Why would I want to move, though? Yeah, I could use a Naga Gaga. If you have trouble reaching Moonstones, use a Moo to help you. Cooperation is a beautiful thing, Ellipsis. Naga. It's been a while since you've gotten some, some chews. Interesting, that. Huh. Use a Moo to help you, but how? Oh, <gasps> That's how. You just gotta let it, like, come through the door for you, and also... You can use one cube to be both stairs, if you want. If you want. Wait, but how do you get through here, then? I can't use a Moo to help me. You're telling lies. Telling lies, Johnny? Hmm. This is tricky. 
And I can't pick this up. There is, like, an upper area to all of this, though, so let's continue to investigate. Can you, like, walk across this? Am I building a bridge? Oh, <gasps> I think I'm building a bridge. Huh. Huh. Man, this is also a dead end. I think I get it? Hold on. I've got- I've got a pet theory. I've got a theory about that one as well. So you're gonna come out, and you're gonna cross this just fine. Do I need to be your bridge? <gasps> no way! They've never asked that of me before. That is insane. Um... Okay, I'm trying to think of how to get to the second one now. Because that's going to be even bonkers-er. I think I need to, like... No. transfer you into here. I guess it wouldn't matter. I would actually just- I would be able to bring a box into here. But I can't do that. Okay. Wait. Wait, I don't think I can get that box back. Uh-oh. I might reset the room. Whatever you do, don't press the retry button. Right, so you can stay locked in there. And if I just, like- stand at the right height and then throw this, then it won't go into that star room, so that wouldn't ha have worked to solve that puzzle, but it does let me in here and get this, which, um, wasn't actually the necessary thing. Still have not unlocked any bonus levels from participating in, in that, but, you know, I do get to prove my funny puzzle skills. I'll probably take this back out with me. There we go! Yeah, you need to get the other box first. So what's up here then? <gasps> Puzzles up here. I'm not sure if I want to be like, crunching these right now. Is that a wise thing to do? Because if there's collectibles, I want them. <gasps> there is extra life non-negotiable. Then again, 44. Maybe it's a little bit negotiable. <gasps> Something is up here. So there's arrows, there's potted plants, there's stars, there's a lot of boxes. I don't see that, that final five anywhere yet, but my first guess is gonna be to fuck with these boxes. These crates. <gasps> oh, they're gonna make me jump at varying heights to try and get them all. If I'm at 26, then that means that there's no, like, special fiver. That means that they're all, like, separate, which is awful, but it's where we're at. Oh, that's a wind stream! Okay! That's helpful information. Oh, I really didn't mean to get that hard right now. Let's, um... Let's break that top box first so we're not trying to, like loop underneath. Like, that's just easier. There we go. Okay, so two left. Yeah, so now I can use the wind stream to go up here, carry the moo. I feel like I'm doing clone no one math. Okay. So what are you for? I don't think I can change the direction of that. And I can't really bring that cube anywhere. Because the wind stream would block it. I think. I think what I'm supposed to do is push this so that it's here. Hmm. It's odd. Why didn't it grow? 
Why didn't it grow? Whoa! Uh-oh. This could call for a reset. I want to know what this up arrow means. Something, like, needs to be redirected, but I'm not quite sure what that is. I could act- there is, like, an additional step here. Of, like, I could bring the boxes, like, some places? I can double jump up here, I guess, but to what end, I'm not sure. I could swear that you're able to grow these things by throwing the at their sides, but maybe you need to have the clearance to, like, throw something in from above? Maybe that's why you need the box there! Because we were taught earlier about, like, using, yeah, the box to um, create, like, new ground. Maybe this is how we do it. Ooh. But now I can't get, like, down. I can't get onto this side where the moo is. And I can't push this either. So I've got to reset the room again. And these are flying moves, so they can't walk around, either. Maybe if I place it here. Yeah, you, you can't push it onto that arrow. There's only one way this can go. Okay. So let's leave it up there for now. And then while I'm holding this, then we push it. And then I grow it? Kind of. Kind of the right idea. Kind of. <gasps> what? Huh? I don't think that's how that's supposed to work. Oh! Okay. Can you imagine if they made that shit part of a puzzle? Oh my god! Okay. So, box here. I think I'm onto this, though. I just have to be carrying a Moo with me while I do the puzzle. Um... Because otherwise I wind up, like... You know, locking the door behind me, so to speak. So I gotta leave it up there. Because that's one way. I can't go back for, like, another move. Hmm. So even if it is up here, that's, like, the best I can do as far as, like, growing a move. So there, I have to find... This is the puzzle. Is that I need the potted plant to be here to retrieve the move. Um, oh, Griffin. Just keep pushing the, the thing. I can't take the wind stream. Wait, okay, 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 okay. So I, I do want the box there? There's like a lot to piece together already, and this is the first fucking level of this final world! Right, so you gotta stay there, and you gotta go to hell. Wait, no. Wait, wait, wait. No, you wanna be here? I don't know. This is the ultimate mystery, is that can you get up here without the wind stream? You can! Okay, okay. See, because I don't want it to be down here. Because then we're stuck. I mean, you, you could have it, like, over here? I don't know why you'd want it to be, though. I want to have a box here and then be able to push the, pl the potted plant up through that up arrow thing. 20 minutes in one level. Has it? Oh, it really has been! I mean, that's not too out of the ordinary for this game, though. I mean, we've got all the collectibles. This is the last room. 
feel like I'm on the verge of figuring it out, but you know... I feel like that's going to result in a lot of smug comments from chat. Because there are two things that can block the wind stream. It can be either this... Oh, I, I can squish through. That's a new possibility that I haven't entertained. Okay. Okay, interesting. Okay. Hmm. No, there's not really any reason to do that. I just don't know how to get back down here after pushing that. I don't get it. Let's, um, for now, let's, like, just bring some shit over to where that arrow is. Because this is probably, like, not the case, but I always forget if the blue ones are the custom ones, or if the red ones are the custom ones. Yeah, because I'm, like, I'm shooting at it. And it's not redirecting, so I don't think that's involved at all. As long as you can just, like, get something to it, that's what matters. Okay, so we know, we, we know that we cannot put a box here, because that soft locks it. We also, like, need it open because we can't get the potted plant. Or rather, the potted lack of plant. Without having that wind stream open and taking the flying move with us. So. There's no variables when you're up here. There's only one path to push it down. Once it drops here, now you've got to make some hard decisions. So as far as the box goes, you can either put it down here, or for some reason you could block the wind stream. And I'm not sure why you want to- well, let's think this through. If I do put the pot over here, and then plant it, then that would let me be up here with a Amu with the wind stream obstructed, and I'd have the block free. But those are all things that I would have without the potted plant. Like, if- if the wind stream... I simultaneously need the wind off and the block in this position. Can you use the box to push the vase down to cross that gap? I mean, I can push shit while holding the box. Um, I don't think the box itself is a tool that can be used to push things. I can try to like get on the other side of this for like for like a second and try and find out that way. This does not feel like it was intended of me to do. I have no idea how the fuck that works! But yes, this is what I was trying to do the whole time. Because now I can plant it. And now I have the moon. And now I do this. And now I can get the last star. Well, that was a mistake, but I'll take it. <laughs> oh, 
Listen, it wasn't a full half hour. Zero retries. Still a C. Oh, <gasps> it's a Guns illustration. Oh, guys, we gotta get the thumbnail of this. I've always drawn Klonoa. Maybe I should draw this dude. Can you imagine Guns Gajinka? Whoa. I'm excited to see some new backgrounds, though. Oh, there's green. This is like a, like a wrench? I don't know my garland tools. Interesting that you're starting in the same room as the door. I think it'd be cool if they did just like make it like a single room level. This is some bullshit. This is so mean. Oh, there's like a... I'm already stuck in a dead end. Like, I could go this way, but I don't want to. Wait, I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, <gasps> wait! You can bring boxes between rooms? I mean, I guess that makes sense, but I'm just surprised. Doesn't that, like... Really fuck with, like... I don't know. Object permanence? That's, like, too much for the Game Boy to handle. Let alone my, my brain boy. Oh, hi, Naz. Oh, no. This- th they're gonna be like- this is mazy! I don't like that it's mazy. <laughs> Can I throw this? Whoa. I got, like, sucked into that shit. There's not really any other purpose for that box besides being in a corner. So I can do this. I guess... I could block this? I don't know if that's where it was before or not. But now I don't have anything to get up here with. Maybe I can flutter up here and grab it from there? Oh, I don't need to throw a move. Okay. So now I can get this life. Now I can get up here. And what else? Hmm. Maybe I want this wind stream open now? We'll try it on for size. Maybe, actually, because I can grab you on the way up, loop back through here, and now I don't have this wind in the way. And now I can do this. And then, like any good puzzle, it's gonna make me repeat that process again to get some gems. There it is. Whoa! Slow down, dude! Don't be rude! Don't forget who you're talking to! I've tried so hard all my life to find out what the fuck that's a reference to. Like, I know what it is. Like, it's a video with, like, Canadian puppets, and I think it's supposed to be, like, a, a PSA for, like, being polite to people on 911. And, like, the, the bit that it's from is, like, really... Because, like, the puppet... Like, the phone... Okay. There's a puppet phone and a puppet calling 911. And then... The puppet phone starts educating the, the puppet person. And then, like, the puppet starts, like, screaming and freaking out because the phone's talking. And I've tried to find this PSA. I've tried to find this clip. No luck. It's impossible. It can't be done. Now I'll never know what to do in, emer in an emergency. <laughs> Hello? It's taking half an hour to solve the puzzle. <laughs> I don't even know where all the doors are. There's like so much to keep track of. Let's uh, let's try resetting this room. Did, Cause I like had to move that box at first, didn't I? Yeah, this starts open and then I have to like bring a box to it. I believe that's what I did just now here. I don't think I've explored this. Let's pan around. Yeah, I haven't done anything in this room besides stealing the box from the very beginning. There's a little bit more going on here, huh?
Okay, well, we're getting gems. But I need stars. Okay. Okay. Is there a way to, like, loop up and around here? No, this is the top of the room. Interesting. Okay, let's try this. Let's try this. Actually, yes, that's literally the solution. I fucked it, but that's the solution. Watch this, watch this, watch this. So I'm gonna go up here. Instead of taking the wind stream, I'm gonna throw this box so that it goes into the chamber where the only Moo is. I'll loop around one more time. Grab this, go here. Now I have this. And... I was gonna, like, try and get it up, like, in, into, the, into the top right and try and navigate it that way, but I can just take it under, which is much easier, and gives me the star. Like, that wasn't a bad puzzle. What sincerely terrifies me is, is this room, though. This is so much shit going on. No, this is... okay. So I think I need to break that box? That's fucked. Okay, so that's just how you get to the door once you have all three. There's also a thingy over there. Um, maybe I can reach that? No, I cannot reach this. I am curious about getting that metal, though. Because I think it should be easy. I am coming to notice that, like, a, a lot of the puzzles in this final area seem to be, like, a lot of them about... I don't know. Making sure that you don't put things in the wrong place. Because you can't reconfigure as much. You can't, like, second-guess your answers. You know? Also, yes, that is easy to get, so that's good news. Well, I guess whatever's to the top left, then, is my last room. But I need to- I- like, even when I win, even when I get the right answer, It still, like, locks the room in a state that requires a reset. This is what I was curious about regarding, um... Being allowed to carry boxes through rooms, because there's no persistence to it. Once you leave... You know, if you get, take a box from room A and bring it to room B and then go to room C, the box doesn't remain in, um... I already broke it. The box doesn't remain in room B where you brought it to. It goes back to room A where it's supposed to spawn. So there's like this this backtracking sequence where you have to like go through multiple rooms to figure this out. See, I keep following the box down. I'm supposed to go over this. Making it maze-like is also like not helping. There's a lot working against me here. Oh, I haven't been in here! Oh, okay. Lolo's message. <gasps> I'm sorry I was so careless. But don't worry about me. Klonoa, you must try to win for your own sake. I'm sure you can do it. Lolo. <laughs> Another stage where we're not finishing with the fiver. Tragic. Oh! <gasps> This is awesome. I get to have it both ways? Yes, please. But do I want it both ways? Seems to me that going up is actually a good thing? Or is it? Okay, well there's multiple gems left. There's one and two. Okay, so that comes around full circle. I getcha. So 
So you're telling me. So this definitely needs to be blocked off with the box. I think the thing that I accidentally did at the start is like actually the intended route here. There we go. I'm trying to like not go too close to the wall, but also not go too close to the... Am I stuck? But guys, you know what they say about resets? Okay. Okay, sure. Fuck you, I guess I'll go this way first then. So whatever was going on here with this blockage, that's actually like extremely necessary. Because otherwise I can't go back. Uh oh. Wait. Wait, what? I thought that that was going to bring me back up to like box height. Okay. Okay, that's not a, that's not a lock yet. Well, what I need to do... Okay. Let's keep the box here, because then it can be reused. Oh, wait! Okay, so you can- you can bring that back, actually. Uh, alright. Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. Let's try, um... Uh-oh. No. I thought that the, the spawn point for this guy was up in the air. So we'd maybe, like, make a bridge with this box. Uh, but that does not seem to be... possible. So we can try doing this, but that doesn't get us very far. And we can't fit through the door while holding this. So really, the only feasible thing to do with that move is to take the wind up. I have a couple of solutions that I could try here. And this mainly does not seem to be a very good first one. I found... There was something that I did here where, like, I thought it was broken, but then I was like, wait, no, it's not. I don't know. Maybe it is broken again. Oh, that's why. That was my way out. Okay. What I need to do is, is get it all the way up onto that second level. Where it's, like, still blocking the wind, but, like, from this upper platform? Although, even if I did have the Moo, I'm not sure how that would change any of these moving pieces. But regardless of what needs to be done here, I'm just gonna leave and come back, so that if I do need to reset, it'll remember that I, like, collected all the gems, and that I can, like, just focus on the puzzle here. If I take you all the way up, what happens, huh? Uh-huh. I think I am trapped now. I think I do need to reset. Once you're, like, in between those two funnels, that's it. It's over. You know, like, so... That is so easy to get stuck in! I mean, we haven't really tried very many solutions that involve blocking this, but, like, also, why would you ever want to? Look, there's not even multiple floors to this. This is just, like, you know, as useful as if they put a ladder here. So I don't think that's a, a piece of any of this.
Like, you need to block the, the first wind stream and then take the Moo to the second wind stream and somehow survive. Problem being that you can't get through here and you can't get through here. Wait, am I stupid? I could- okay, I've got a solution in mind. I could swear that I've tried this already. There's no way I didn't do this, though. Write it up, get stopped by the block, take the second wind stream, go up here, now that it's blocked, use the double jump to get up here. Oh wow, it really was that easy. Oh, okay. Okay. It's fine. You know what, though? That's still half the time that it took to beat the last stage, so I'll, I'm cool with it. The harder of a time I have with these puzzles, I think the funnier the stupid jaunty victory theme is becoming? Oh. Uh. More than victory, I really just want to see the the C turn into like a B. I don't even want an A, I'll take a C. It's so sad. I get weird vibes from how much of that image we've seen so far. I have very good reason to believe that it's going to wind up looking like that, um... I mean, there's there's no particular image that I'm describing. It's more of a series of images because there are so many of these in existence, in circulation, of, um... When they announced Shout of the Hedgehog from 2005 at E3, and then a bunch of... They have, like, a statue of Shout of the Hedgehog holding a gun, and so a bunch of games journalists all thought it would be funny if they, like, knelt down in front of the statue like they were going to be executed. Like Shadow was going to murder them at gunpoint. And the composition of that kind of does just look exactly like that. Actually, wait, I've got an idea. Yup. That's actually kind of cool. That's a cool solution. Now I should be able to bring this through. This widow booby. Who can twirls all the wealth in America? Oh, that's already in the right spot. Perfect. Guys, it's already the first star! Any other secrets in this room? Nope. I demolished that puzzle. I eat puzzles for breakfast. Gantz's message? Hey, Klonoa, fuck you. You really ought to retire soon. There's no question in that. I'm going to win. The prize money's mine. What? Huh? Oh. Oh! Oh, this is getting, like, crazy now, huh? Whoa! I can't even see what I'm, like, throwing down at. Yeah, well, the, there's no other gems involved. The only other thing you can get from that is a star, so... If I had to, I, I could say goodbye to it. I could leave that behind. Another one? Popka's message. Sorry to worry you like that. I'm managing somehow. Do me a favor and beat that guy Gantz. Guys, Popka got shot. Bombs? <gasps> Wait, what? Huh? What? Huh? Maybe that'll work. I don't know. 
It'll probably break the box, but I don't think I can, you know, go through it. Maybe that's why this is here. Oh! Yeah, okay, I'll leave that then. I can make it grow higher. So now that's out of the way, plant that again. Oh, this might get a little bit fucky. Okay, where, where do I need to bring this? So I am able to push it, like... Oh! Oh! Okay. Got it. Got it. Also, we haven't talked about this background yet, but this looks sick. It doesn't even feel like a like a cyber castle. It just looks like some cool ass ruins. All right, well let's hope that works. Oh, it's like not close enough. I guess you don't want to push it all the way. You want it like slightly off to the side. Pumpkin died, but he got better. I hope it's not temporary, or we're in trouble. Oh god, more of these. If I recall correctly, that is like, the nail in my coffin. That was the one thing from the, the first GBA Klonoa that was like, my number one weakness. Like, you start introducing lots and lots of those, and the variables... skyrocket. Like, there's so many positions you could possibly have this in. Hmm. So we can't push this because it's up against a wall. And we can't plant anything in it because this is a, a, a one tall passage. We can go up here, and that's about it. We can't do anything once we're up here. There is this, actually. Is this, like, another new room? <gasps> oh. I'm... kind of sure you can transfer these between rooms? I actually don't know. I don't think it's been, like, asked of me before. But we can try it. It does get squished. That actually might work. If I'm just like a little bit faster with that. <sighs> Get it. And now we have our, our square. What? Huh? Where's it gone to now? Okay, um, maybe I can use this to my advantage. Because now I've built myself like a moving platform. And to some degree, that's what it wants me to do. Okay. Uh, maybe we can use this to make a bridge for the moon. Because they walk to the right. <gasps> but you can't jump into it. But if I have this arranged in, like, a downwards staircase... Yes! Now I plant you. There's, like, another room up here! This isn't even, like, the end of the puzzle! This is, like, a several-room endeavor. Oh god. I don't trust this one bit. This looks terrifying. Lots of free gems, though, so I will kind of take it. <gasps> the darkness closes in on Klonoa. Well, good thing we just started this room. Okay, so that's already what it needs to be, I'm pretty sure. Ooh.
This one's kind of janky, but I get it. Why is this- why is this the end of the stage and I only have one of the stars so far? Like, okay. Like, hold on now. Oh shit, I get why this is here. That's nuts. But then, oh, so you can keep it going endlessly. If you're like, if your tempo is good. Imagine if the console Klonoas used arrows and move blocks and stuff like this. I don't think the console Klonoas are really concerned with doing that. I think the only reason the GBA Klonoas are, are like this is because they don't have the gimmick of, you know, the, the 2D, 3D. Or the 2.5D, rather. So they're just trying to find, like, some other thing that complements the Klonoa moveset well. And this is what they came up with. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, I can push this while holding it, though. Okay, good. I was worried I was going to have to restart the puzzle again, but that works out. However... That's not like... This isn't the last room. There's other stuff going on. And that's like, that's like a very linear ending. There's not like... Usually they place those in pretty central rooms. Oh, does it remember that the box is destroyed? So it's like, just endlessly doing this. Well, that explains two missing gems, but not all of them. Okay. Just for safety, I'm gonna take you with me. Because there is something to see over here. Oh, okay. Oh! Oh, okay then, sure. What was this attached to? There's a key here? I don't give a shit about the key. Oh, it was in this room? Huh? Huh? Oh, this is where the, the box was! Oh, alright then. Well, that's really easy. I, I like, I guess I did the puzzle, I just didn't collect the, the solution. I do need to redo this box thing, though. Because you need to use this, like... Oh no! This Moo Bridge. To get up to where that door is. I mean, Klonoa still had puzzles, but I feel like those were more like... Maybe timing based, or something a little more like with an action-y flavor. I mean, there is the entirety of the Moonlight Museum stage. But even then, I feel like the puzzles are more like about perspective. Or like about that wh whatever that game's thesis is, as opposed to, you know, enemy-based mechanics. I don't know if any what it just said makes sense. Oh, that's gonna be a lot of retries. Oh, no! I guess I was thinking of another time. Still a C, though. <gasps> that's Gun! Does Guns have two guns? How many is enough? Oh no! Speaking of action, this is gonna be a nightmare. This is a waking nightmare. Whoa! Look at the perspective on these, though! Oh, I guess it's occurring to me that I never did, on my own time, collect all the gems that I missed in previous levels. 
What? Huh? What? This is too much! For a second I was thinking maybe I'd have a chance to 100%. Like I'd get to see the cool guns picture, but I guess not. Aside from that one bit, I am doing quite well though. Oops! Well, here comes my other chance. Alright, Wii U gamepad, don't let me down! I do have 50 lives to figure this out though, so... Yeah, the, the aerial perspective is, is what gets me. Like, this is so confusing to me. Because there's, like, there's variations in height and in distance. So, like, if you even so much as flutter at it wrong, you just don't, you don't get the gems. Okay. I think progress-wise, that's the furthest you've made it. How are you supposed to know which side they're coming up on? I feel like some caution signs for that would come in very handy. Oh god. Oh! 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 Jeez, I missed 12 of those! Okay, but is it an important gem? Let's see. No, but there's no way I could get the ones in the air. There just isn't. <laughs> Sorry, Gantz's ankle. I'll never know your the, the secret to your riddle. Is this one the, the auto-scroller, or is this just a normal level? Yeah, okay, it's normal. Water? You can't have water in a techno-castle level, come on! Those hooks are for machinery, not for fish. These are like cool foreground sprites, though I do like the designs on these. Okay, that's a dead end. I guess I'm just supposed to bring this through? Oh. Huh, alright. I'm hoping that I can grab this from down here. <laughs> I don't think I- THAT'S A HUNDRED PERCENT TOUCHING! Okay, but if I can grab that though, maybe it just like wasn't close enough to the ledge? Yeah, I'm allowed to grab that. It wasn't height, it was just like distance, I guess. What? Uh-oh. Oh, so you need to get it there and turn the water back on. Now I see why the timer set to 20. Ah, but if you throw that there, then that makes it explode. It's a liquid-cooled castle. Oh, you, it's a gaming PC? Powered by gears and cog work and clock parts? Nope. Nope! Okay. This is gonna require a lot of advanced planning. So... I think I get it, I think I get it. You don't want to use the grabby thing. The grabby thing is a fake out. It's a faker. You want to use it the first time you go. The second time you go, you don't want it.
Oh, this is a 30 second timer, by the way. Oh, I already did this wrong. Let's, uh, let's just throw this at this to trigger the detonation. Yeah, that's a thing. There is no such thing as a gaming PC powered by Cogworks. Sometimes it feels like that's the computer I'm using, but I'm, I'm a special case. What's a computer? Hmm. That does bring us a step closer to the solution, I just need to do it even faster to buy myself more time. Damage boost. I'm not sure how I would do that. Without taking that hit. It's now is not the time to redeem Hydrate! More importantly, the real question I have to ask myself is why I keep, like, bringing water in with me and then, like, not putting it down at my desk. I always, like, leave it, like, across the room. Huh? Oh, okay. Yeah, so you, you're able to leave that block no matter if you're going forwards or backwards through that. I don't get it. I don't get it without damage boosting. Oh. Eat it, Klonoa. I got a new PC at the start of the year. It hasn't worked since I've got it. I've been going back and forth for like eight months trying to get it fixed. And now I tried to get a refund since they've kept failing to fix it. And they said now, so I had to write a letter to my bank to file a dispute on the charge from like eight months ago. I mean, that's a thing as in that reminded me of a thing. Oh! Maybe, Femi, you should like try taking that computer apart. Maybe the reason it won't work is because it's a bunch of gears and whistles and steam powered engines. Listen, when I told the, the computer repairman that I wanted Steam installed, this is not what I meant. Oh, <gasps> the save? I didn't even touch the water. Oh, I keep forgetting, you're you're like, you're allowed to touch the boomy before it detonates, you just can't throw it into anything destructive. Okay. Okay, well that, that saves me so much time then, and so much health. I don't even have to worry about it. Like, I can just stand in it, and then I'm fine. Like, this is still a problem, but you know. But like, that's the way to do it. This is like the, the, the perfect optimized route now. <gasps> optimized route! I've taken it in a, a part in the process of trying to fix it. Yeah, so go in, you take the gears out, and then you replace them with like, I don't know, solid state parts. Okay. Klonoa auto-grabbing the ladder is like, I'm never prepared to let go and I waste precious time while he's like just hanging on waiting for further instruction. Enclosed instruction. Holy shit! That is, that's so precise. There's so little room for error. Holy moly. 
One of the parts is just fucked and the company is like malicious or maliciously incompetent. Like, you look online about them and all you find is complaints about how poor their service is and how they send out defective stuff regularly and it's a pain to fix. Like, just to get a hold of someone, you need to sit on hold for one to three hours at least. Jeez. I'm just gonna leave that to beep. I wanna, like, look at the rest of the parts before I try and, like, put any of it together. Like, putting together a PC. Naga Poco's Hint. Naga Gaga. If you have trouble getting moonstones, try doing various things in the reverse order of what you usually do. Naga. Why would you put that hint in here? That's an ominous thing to say. And also, why'd you say it? So I need to- oh dear. Hmm. Oh, I get it though. Oh, but now it's going to explode. Wait, no it doesn't? Wait? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Let's uh, let's reset the layout of this. I'm terrified of the idea that they thought to like put in that advice because I feel like mentally that's gonna fuck with me more than like if I was left to my own devices. Okay, so, okay. You are able to, like, go up through here, but it requires performing a grab on one of these, like, little latches. So you can not take this with you. You can do that, but that's about it. You're allowed to have this here. what it is that I would usually do. Do the reverse of what you would usually do. Oh, I'm gonna cling onto that for dear life and it's gonna ruin me. Okay, well, what I'm usually doing is removing the down block first. So let's try removing this first. I mean, that makes sense a little bit. Because what I want is, like, the thingy to be stopped when it's here. I suppose, though... Oh god. I, c I, c I can do this. Uh-oh. Oh! Well, now I'm trapped down here, so that's great. Hmm. But that's like maybe not a bad idea, because that would that would allow me to remove both blocks, which is kind of what I've been trying to do. But it would be impossible to have a block positioned either here or here to stop the down block while it's above the button. Yeah, the letter to the bank was like a three-page long list of events documenting my interactions with the company, their lack of response, etc., and like 20 pages of printed evidence of our communications. There's like more shit over here too. Although I guess that's just what the button triggers. Oh wait, I think I get it. I think I get it. So you want to have the bomb here 
and then you throw the block at the bomb rather than throwing the bomb at the block. That's probably what it means by doing it backwards. Because you could do this. So the, the only problem is getting the bomb here because bombs, they are squishier than blocks. They're a little more malleable. Um, but this is still non-negotiable. Like, you, you can't be allowed to bring that through. Um, like, I could have... Hmm. I'm trying to get between these two. There we go. Let's bring this up here. And then we'll use the bomb as, like, a platform, I guess? Or this block as a platform, rather, so we'll carry this. No, that doesn't work. However, throwing the down block into the bomb does make it detonate, so that's, like, a big confirmation on the theory. Love watching him shimmy. Okay. Hmm. I mean, it's a down block. This is the only place it can be. Huh. So you're flying. It is possible to, you know, do down throws like this, but... Can't really grab it again. Maybe, maybe that's why I need this. Let's try getting this, like, into that little nook over here. Because then you can have it like this, right? And then if you, like, put the bomb here, and then just, like, walk here and then grab it again. Then it's in place! Yup! Oh no. But now it can't reach. So you would somehow need to, like, get the block back? I guess I could just reverse the rolls of the red block and the down block. Like, this stays here, and then this goes across. That is so cheesy, though. Oh, but wait, you can't throw down into it. <gasps> but you can hit the wall and then have it drop down onto that, and then do this. And then do this? These are unholy puzzles. Klonoa was never meant to think at this speed. Oh, okay. But won't it get heavier if the water gets in? <gasps> oh no! Well now you've taken everything from me. Surely there's a way around. Oh, there is. It's a very simple griffin. Joke his message, I thought you were dead. Oh, I don't want to become a gear! I can pay any amount of money, somebody please save me! Nope. Too late. Oh! Is that how that works? That's not a big deal at all, then. Yeah, you, come here. Come closer. Okay, it's a little bit of a big deal. This is kind of scary. I sure hope that little bit is where I wanted the plant to be. <gasps> it's not. Because then it'll only go that high and that's not enough. Hmm. 
Let's, uh, are there any blocks in here? There is? Oh. Um. I don't need to reset the room, but I guess you already reset other rooms, so I'm, I'm already eating the sea. Okay, but look at this, look at this. So there's, there's two, you know, explosion redirection blocks, and they both point left. And so you'd think that you can't destroy one without destroying them both. But, you can't grab them from above, so you need one of them destroyed. So the way to make this happen is like so. It is like the following, consider the following. So we're not even we're not even gonna worry about the potted plant for now. What if I did this? Or even like this. Just like something that very tangentially. Yeah! And then it redirects like backwards in the wrong way. And I can do this without needing the bomb. So you just fit it over, and now you have something to fill the gap. So you can cross this over without getting in trouble. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh no! Oh, that's such bullshit! I think you want to get it, like, up here, then? Like, you don't want it in that nook? I thought that was such a cool solution. Maybe that's, like, a part of what you have to do, though. Like, you still want to do that first thing, so that you're left with one block left. But I think, like, the location where you need to grow the bomb is, like, different. Like, if I push it here to the point where it's like right next to it, that'll probably do the trick. If there's time anyways. Like, does that reach? It might have to bring it a little bit closer. And then I guess I've got time to bring this with me. Oh shit, that's totally what you do. That's cool! Why would I want a heart out of that, though? Oh, there's another room. This is... this one's too much. This one's... this one's too much! Oh no, only 50 lives. Okay, so that changes the water level, so that's the key. But now I'm stuck down here, so you have to reset. That now that's just mean. That's just mean spirited. I love that, that what they've effectively made these become is just like explosive umbrellas. Right, okay, so I'm, I need to bring this back with me. 
and then do this. But won't I be trapped if I do that? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So you need, like, both of them set up, then, to, like, give you that out. You want to wait for that other one to explode, and then this one's gonna be your out. So then you do this. Oh no! <laughs> I had it so perfect! This is like overwhelming the GBA sound chip. There's so much beeping. It it doesn't even know what to do. You come back here, come back here. That's down there, yes. Good. Okay, there we go. But it, uh, it's we're not done yet. That room was crazy. That was too much. Okay, well the good news is that there's like probably only like three of these left, right? Probably only. I don't know what other likelihood there is, Griffin. Gomeroth's message. Drats! If I'm turned into a part, I won't be able to eat. I'm starving. Help me. That is a problem. I mean, you won't be able to, but you won't need to, either, so, you know. It's all about what you make of it. Oh god. Wait a second. Oh god. Just, like, one simple thing is all I ask. You're gonna have to, like, jump into the water and, like, throw the bomb at the last second. That's crazy. Are they, like, not gonna put any bombs in this room either? Oh, wait, no. Okay, this isn't, this isn't as bad. You just gotta do this. You gotta what? Oh. Wait, okay, so I wanna be in here when I throw this. So I'll let that do its thing. So throw this, then carry this with me. Oh. Okay, there are there are better ways to set this up in advance. Let's uh let's put this here. I just wanna like have this pinned to the right side. That's the way to do it. But it's not. I need to have, like, some sort of minimum distance that I can, like, jump from the red block to this left area. Like, I could try doing this, but it's probably not gonna work. Oh, never mind, it does. Okay. I thought I needed to, like, put it back on top of the block, or it wouldn't work. But, uh, I guess it did. Vision clear. Six retries! Ooh, These are nasty numbers. But we do get to see Gunt's Gunt. Wow. So, like, Klonoa's in this, too. I want to know if he's, like, being pointed at. Oh my god, it's already been an hour and a half. Cool background, though.
This one, like, feels very aesthetically, like, unrelated to everything else we've seen so far. This is, like, rocket-themed. Uh-oh. Hmm. What is it that we need that bomb for again? A couple things. Okay. I'm already stumped, you guys, on this one. What do you do with that thing? Sometimes you can lower them and, or do things to, like, change the situation, but... I think there's already a very limited amount of options I have at my disposal here. Like, I obviously want to break this block. But how can that be? Here's the question, though. Do bombs sink? I think they do. Yeah, they're, they're not heavy enough to make Klonoa sink with them, which is weird to think about, but... That's the logic, so... Like, doesn't that suggest that Klonoa would need, like, a buoyancy to outweigh the influence of the bomb? Like, if you're holding on to a heavy thing, how do you just suddenly be not heavy? I don't think it's, like, really negotiable unless, like, you literally are, like, helium, like, lighter than air. Mmm, no. There's no, there's no bringing more bombs, I don't think. Not this deep. Oh, that- this is an epic ladder, though. That's a great design. Uh, anything on this side? No, okay, we're fine. Ah, oh, I do need- ah, oh, I need the move again, though. There it is. This whole stage looks like a Sonic Rush boss. Oh, shit, Lakuri stones. I guess, if anything, I should feel lucky that it's been this long since needing to encounter any of them. You could regard this as, like, a very restrained approach. There is so much shit going on down here. Oh my god. So we need to make this thing red? That's asking a lot for, like, second room kind of puzzle. Oh god, and there's, like, thin doorways that you have to fit it through. Also, why didn't that spawn? That feels a little bit cheap. Jeez, and I have to get the gems in every single run, too. Oh, yeah, we're definitely, um... Oh, I have to hold this down for you now. Once I get the gems in this room, I'm gonna have to, like, leave again. Because I also want to save... my having destroyed the block. Because if I have to do redo that 30-second waiting every single time, I'm gonna scream. Like, I'll just be, like, holding onto the ladder at the ready.
There we go. I was like, hmm. Maybe if I leave before it, like, fully completes the animation, then, like, it doesn't count. <laughs> Come to me. Come into my arms. Like, there, there's still other gems over here, but relative to all the other shit, it's not as big of a deal. Also, I don't think I'm supposed to do that because this is, like, too thin. Oh, that didn't count. One more. Oh, that was so close! There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Okay, make the bomb spawn. Please? Why not? Why not, though? Alright, sure. It's really hard to tell where that thing is. I guess the trick there is to use the scroll while you're still holding on to the Lakori. Oh, that does make it a lot easier to sort out, doesn't it? Well, okay. There we go then, right? Like, we did it? We didn't do it. I think if this goes here, though, that's fine. Also, this is a 40-second puzzle. Oh my god! Please tell me it remembers, though. Nope. It did remember the breaking the block, though. So I did accomplish that. Like, I didn't even need to do what I just did. I can just throw you and I don't care anymore. Okay, so where are you right now? You're just spawning in? you think you use, like, the scroll tool to, like, give yourself a little bit of a snapshot? I don't know. It's very disorienting when, like, your vision of what you think the layout is doesn't match up with what it actually is going on right now. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, next step, I'm fucking leaving again to lock that in. Because apparently that is not enough to solve a room puzzle. There is yet even more that is asked of you. Let's go together, buddy. Let's go. Just you and me, pal. Oh. It's actually just what you're supposed to do. <gasps> what? Nope. This one's a weird bit. What? Two of them? Naga Poco's hint. Naga Gaga. The head part of the Garlinator that Garland rides is missing a gear. He was so busy, he left one out. Naga Gaga. Well, what's your hint then? Naga Poco's hint. Nagaga? The barrier around its head is damaged and is quite weak. Well, I guess it can't be helped. Let's not tell Garland. Oh, 
Oh. Now you gotta use the bottom half. You wanna bonk into that shit on purpose. No longer a weird bit. This is cool now. Oh, and then you gotta redo it while holding onto this now. Uh-oh. Or, you know, just get stuck. Or, you know, get the gems and go to another room, maybe? No. I can't leave puzzles behind. Are you kidding me? Come on. I just don't have it in me. I'm breaking that box. Or am I? I guess... I guess so. It's not a crazy diversion. I never thought I'd be being punished with Ascension in these games. It's usually so hard to obtain. Now there's too much of it. Okay, let's just... Take it a little easy and go with the grain. Nope! Still not good enough. You'll never be good enough, Klonoa. I think the key is to, like, lead it a little bit early. I'm trying to, like, trail the platform. I think I want to be, like, in front of it a little bit more. Oh, that goes too far back, though. Oh, <gasps> what? There's another thingy! Uh-oh. I don't like the sound of another thingy. Okay. Well then what is this box for? This is gonna be an extra life or some bullshit like that. Yup. Heh. <laughs> so predictable. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't want to fly anymore, I want to touch the ground! Yes. Good. Good, Klonoa. Good, good, good. Huh? Oh, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I think it's the second one that I want to ride? Yeah, okay. I wish I could tell you whether or not me going up there was intentional or not. I really have no idea. Okay, there we go. Let me just ride this. Whole lot of work just to get to a room I've already been to. so much going on in this one, though, and I still only have one star. I've got, like, almost all the thingies. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't switch to the next room so soon. For some reason, I thought the last room was that one, which is why I was so concerned. But I think it does want me to do this first, actually. It's cool that you can, like, bring stuff with you, though. It makes you think. No, there's no reason I would want that. There is definitely, though, a reason I would want the windstream turned off. And maybe even a button push down? Oh, but you can only choose between one or the other. Fascinating. Well, there are two pots. I'm not sure how much that accomplishes. Hmm. This, this is double height though. Like you are allowed to bring this back with you. And I think that's part of the strategy here. 
No. No, it can't be, though. Because the spawning position of these pots... You can't do anything with these, this right off the bat. Alright. It's a bit of a relief, honestly, that you don't need those, though. I think I do have, like, another idea in mind, though. Oh, hi there, Tavin. Thank you for coming to my... I don't know what you would call this. My, my little puzzle corner. I can go all the way to the corner. I think you need to, like, trade the bomb. You want to block both of these wind streams and kind of, like, zigzag it. Like, if we can do this. Because now that's not being obstructed. Hmm. But there does remain that problem. Of having the button held down. Having a good day? I'll have a good day when this puzzle is solved. Hmm. I wonder if it'd be possible to, like, stack the pots to, like, get it up there. I don't think it is, though. And then this door is, like, one tall. And, of course, when you leave... The positions of everything resets. LBA5 when? Smile? Uh, I wish I could fucking answer that, you know? I have been putting so much into that lately in the hopes of, like, having, like, a big announcement to make. And, um, I've literally done all the work on my end. I'm just waiting on other people to fulfill their end. I mean, there's not a way to throw that down and then redirect it. And if it's a wind stream, then you can't, like, move horizontally unless that pot plant is in the way. Because you're locked into this until you hit the top. Do you have 69 friends on purpose? Oh, uh, on Roblox? It is something that I've noticed, but it's, it's not intentional, really. I just don't really accept it any friend requests. Griffin, what's your project management like? Oh, I would love to talk about my project management, Femi. My project management is that I do fucking everything, and then I have a little server where I occasionally show my friends the stuff that I've been working on, and then it turns out that I don't know how computers work, so then eventually my friends will look at, like, the back end of the stuff that I built, and then it turns out that for whatever, like, any given feature, as of late, it's the dialogue system, um, that I'll build my own solution, and then my friends will look at it, and then it'll be, like, the coding equivalent of, like, spending a year, like, pulling on a push door, and then my friend comes along and they have to push the door open for me, except in this particular case, the door has been pushed open halfway and I still can't get inside, but they consider the job well done, and, say, and then they say, hey, could you push the door the rest of the way open because you tore up the thing that I made and I can't, like you know, do the rest of what I wanted to do until I have, like, a working, like, replacement. Um, so that- so that's been the last several months of development! The other half of the project management is that Max makes music and I pay them and they're incredibly dedicated and skilled with their schedule and I have absolutely no complaints about their work ethic. <laughs> that's LBA5. <laughs> also, it's is here too. It sometimes helps. I'll never forget what you did for the doors. Hmm. Hmm. I love that this has been like a like a completely like chill low energy stream until it, that fucking outburst. <laughs> Hmm. 
when is Griffin's Burgers coming out? Yo, the LBA5 machine's broken. Come back later. Hmm. And you can't make these bitches walk around either is the thing. Like, do I want to bring a bomb? There's no reason I would want a bomb in here. I really do think that grabbing this little guy is, is the, the reason. Like, this is the secret somehow. Like, you could... Mm, never mind. If I plant something here... Like, you're no longer allowed to push that. <gasps> but it does let you store it. You can store it and then grab other things while you're trying to solve other puzzles. So if I, like, put this in here, first things first, and then, like, try to solve other shit while I'm busy... Look at that. Look at this that we're accomplishing. <gasps> this is, like, actually what you're supposed to do! That's insane! I, like, dismissed this immediately. I didn't expect that it was actually going to be a part of the solution. This rules. Do you have any task planning stuff, like checklists for features, slash content goals, etc.? Um, I mean, every single mission of the 80 collectibles in the game is, like, laid out. Like, this is where things are going to go, this is what's completed, this is what stage of completion each thing is at. Um, in terms of more global systems, like the dialogue system, um, sometimes stuff like that gets in the way, sometimes it doesn't. I know for a while development was halted because we didn't have doors working. Um, now we do, I guess. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to think this through to make sure that I'm like getting the order of operations on this right. Griffin is using 0.001% of his power to think about how to open the door. It's true. I'm on. I'm, I'm in LBA brain mode now. I think I want to do this. And then while it's up here, I throw it over here and then we glide over there. I definitely want to like... I need this open, and I need to like find a way to bring the little pink guy with me. Can I cross this? Oh, that's easy. Way overthinking that, okay. Well that's it then, there we go. It took one year of development time for a door. Yep. I mean, I like what we got. They, um... They, uh, they, uh, mostly work. Well, there we go. That's two thingies. I need to, like, make my way to a new room, like, now to lock in that progress. What do you think you're gonna do about Roblox Racers? Um... I mean, that really depends on how LBA goes, like... I, I've spent, just like proportionally, a, a long time of my life on that, and I think like... If I- I, I do want to do like more game development stuff, I just don't know if like... I want to like tie everything to Roblox, you know? Um... I don't know. I don't think that game ever had, like, a good foundation. I just, like... I liked building tracks, and that's about it. But I don't think the movement ever, like, felt good, and that is an important thing to get right. And... You know, it's possible to build, like, good-feeling movement. Is there even a start in this room? There is. Okay. That's where I'm uh, working towards. It's possible to build good-feeling movement on Roblox. It's just that, like... The barrier between the slightly tweaked default movement and that is so wide, even as far as, like, platformer stuff goes, that, like, vehicle shit is not something I would begin to touch. <laughs> Dang, someone remembered Roblox Racers. The trailer's still up on the channel. It's not- I, I get questions about it more often than you'd think. Oh, I get it. Because the bomb is too heavy to fly up on its own, but if I carry it as Klonoa, then for some reason it works.
Have you talked about that one documentary about Roblox circling around yet? This would be a good segue into it. Um, I haven't talked about it, no. Um, but it is very good. Femi linked it, like, as soon as I saw it, um, earlier that day. And, um, it's like, that investigation has caused a lot of, like, contentiousness in the Roblox community. There are, like, like, very top-end devs who are very offended by the assertions that that, um, report makes. Um, which is really interesting. I mean, Tyler showed up in the comments, and Tyler's a top dev, but Tyler's based, so they're like, no, um, these, like, little kids should definitely have rights. Um, and I particularly liked what they said at the end, how they capped things off with, which is, capitalism success stories always come with an asterisk. Um, the Roblox 1%. With the help of a game called Retro Studio, I am going to recreate LBA1 like it used to be. I mean, if you if you want, I don't know. <laughs> People come to me with with remake ideas all the time. I I don't ever get too excited about them. But you know, go ahead if you want. I guess. Oh, wait, I get it, I get it. Bomb goes next to the button. Toggle it, go up here. When that bomb explodes, the airstream is gonna stop and I can get up there now. It's not a remake, it's a recreation. It's LBA1, I get to say, I get to say what it is. You were talking about payouts like the day before too and I was flabbergasted. Yeah, I mean, I, I found moderate success as a dev. I think the fact that I've, like, reached payout levels... Like, most little kids on the platform are never even going to get that far. So I think that's, like, important to, like... Like, so many people are gonna throw themselves at this, and have, really, trying to, you know, make it big on Roblox, and it's just not for everybody. Um, so I really just want to finish up this current project and move on to other things. However, Another subject I've been dying to talk about. Unironically, I think my brother is one of those well, exploitation is actually good smile. Um... I actually have been working on non-Roblox stuff, and this is like... Top secret, so I won't say anything more. But, uh... I've been working with the Unreal Engine. And I fucking hate it. There's- it comes with so much Epic Games bloatware, and every single time I launch the editor, it, like, opens the Epic Games Store and asks me to log in. And it's not necessary at all for the function of the program, but it happens every single time. And it's, like, bypassing the default operating system behaviors for how software is supposed to open itself and, like, run. And it's, like, doing all sorts of shady background shit that I didn't ask it to. I feel like I've installed cancer on my com computer and I can't uninstall it. But, you know, if I, if I can, you know, like, get it out. If I, um... I don't know. I'm about as tied down to Unreal as I am to Roblox. I'm like dying to get out of both, really. Yeah, I think I want to bring this pink guy up with me. That's why I have that extra like 10 seconds to work with. Griffin making Klonoa on Fortnite. There, I've seen, there are such things as like Klonoa, you know, reimagining projects. And um, there is like, it's very interesting. There's one that has like kind of third person controls. It's kind of like over the shoulder and you're like throwing shit in 3D like it's not even a 2.5D game anymore. It's a uh, it's very bizarre. Use Unity Smile. Listen. That that's what I want long term. Like I'm like th this other project that I'm working on is um actually quite far along and with a much better team of more competent people besides myself. Uh so I don't have any you know long-term worries about it, I guess. It's just, you know, helping some friends out. It's what I'm doing now. It is cool, though, like, how some skills wind up transferring over to Roblox, or rather from Roblox, I suppose. Wait, okay, huh? Oh, this is so confusing. 
Griffin calling me incompetent. <laughs> I'm calling me incompetent, it's... Everybody I work with is, like, very skilled. They're just all busy with their own shit. Which is, like, fine. It's just frustrating when, like... You know, somebody will commit to like, oh yeah, I'll do this for you, and then like, I'm just left waiting, and I can't like, do my own thing until that's done. Hmm. I can throw that through the stream. That's kind of helpful. I'm just gonna like leave and come back just to make sure that I'm not like missing anything. It's I would not call you incompetent. I'm sure there's like technology lying around in RJ that I'd still find impressive to this day. Like, I think I have to go full circle to carry this? No, that doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't make any sense. Like, I need to be in this position and then wait for it to close behind me because of the bomb timer. But it's, like, weird. Because I can be like this. I can be in this position. But then it toggles, and I'm on the wrong side of it. That's fair. I'd probably have committed a lot more to help Elbow you 5 but my life is so stupid sometimes I can't make a solid schedule of a lot of things. I just help when I can. I, I, I'd rather not leave you hanging. Yeah, I mean, it's like, I'm not complaining about you in particular. And like, I don't even mean to really complain about who I'm complaining about, especially on like the public record, but, um... Like, I, I've been ready for so much big news to drop, and I'm just, I can't do anything with what I have until this final piece is finished. But I don't know, the, 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 the Roblox fan who came in here with questions is like, gone now, so. It's, I don't know who this is for, even. Huh? Hmm. Do I need to like throw it at this and then like take another one of these with me and then like do this? <gasps> that is what I needed to do. Like some of these solutions are becoming so precise that it seems like Timing them out is, like, unlikely. Like, we're doing the impossible here. It's for you, Smile? What? Huh? Oh, this one's gonna have some bad numbers on it. Holy shit. Let's see. Better be worth a good sliver of the picture. I mean, we only have three stages left, so that's a good sign. We have one more regular level, and then an auto-scroller, and then the boss? Yeah, it's another pair. Okay. Um... Well, I'll try to keep the pace as far as the gems go. <gasps> it's a vertical auto-scroller! I don't think there's any scrolling that way. There is nothing funnier to me than how quickly and immediately I, I eat shit sometimes. Hi, gun. Hello, gun. 
Whoa. Guess we're just doing this now? Oh, you gotta like jump out to the sides. It's kind of fun. Okay. Okay, that's enough, gun. These don't save between rooms, though. These are like all one, one and done. Like you have to do it in one shot. Can I like have that back, please? Thank you. Ooh, okay. Oh, that was like the perfect height. If I was like any further behind, I'd be in big trouble right now. Oh, I can't- I can't go back for that so easily, Griffin. Oh, there is a checkpoint, actually. Okay, that's nice. That's nice to have. Just gotta keep ahead of the curve this time. Yeah, though, if, if I were ever working in on any projects, like, beyond what I'm currently working with, uh, definitely either Unity or Swift. How do you get that fast? There's no way you can get there that fast! But, uh, I did mention earlier this month that I applied for that H-bomb, uh, what is it, Brain Mine Residency? Um, so, you know, there's always the contingency of if I get accepted for that, then I, you know, might start learning some new stuff sooner rather than later. I feel like I'm overdue for, like, learning some new software. I mean, I've been learning a lot of Unreal lately, but, I, uh, I was, like, learning some motion earlier today. I found a channel from a very cool channel name, name of fi the, the Final Cut Bro. Which is, I mean, I get that, and I think it's funny. I, mean, I don't know if you guys will get it. Okay, that's all the gems, baby. The Klonoa is mine. Yes! Oh my god! That one wasn't even that bad. That was, like, relative to the other stages. That's a speedrun, baby. And still a C. You're really only like a lot of like two hits and that's it. And then anything else is a failure. This one's like actually cool artwork. It's a shame that I won't be able to use it. Because it's got a giant 5-4. I got lucky with the last one. Based on where like the visuals were composed. There's no getting around that 5-4. I don't know, I'm sure there will be like a lot of cool ending visuals though that I could use for the thumbnail. It's not that big of a deal. Alright, 5-8, this is the final level level. Ooh, look at this background! Aw, oh, this is super evocative of Klonoa 1. Okay, come on though, like I I'm allowed to get up here. Thank you. And we're keeping with, like, the rocket ship foreground? Okay. Just edit in the image. Smile. People will think you're good at the game, but they'll- they'll learn the truth! What? Huh? I have two gems and the door is already here and I have no idea where a single star is located. There's all these keys, though. Is this, like, non-linear? Like, you find the key in the hub area, and then you just, like, pick the one that you want? And there's a Lakori, I guess. These all have keys. Oh, this one doesn't, actually. Okay. Maybe there is, like, an order to these, then. We'll see. What is your hint? Naga Poco's hint. Naga Gaga. In Garland's castle, a robot named Dorissa will try to block your path. Throw something at Dorissa 
and aim for its stomach, Nagaga. 5-4 is automatically unlocked, no one notices. I feel like even Klonoa heads would be like, whoa, he got 5-4, there's no way, I gotta see this. And then they'll, they'll, they'll learn the horrible truth. This sequence is fucked, by the way. Oh, does that not go to a button? Oh, it goes to a, like a like a creature. Ah, oh, okay. Wait a second, though. Wait, this is like doable, though. Oops. even want you. I just need to let you come to me past the door. And like, that's it. That's all I need from you. Because the, the thingy over here is just blue, right? Yeah. So, no worries. <gasps> what? Some worries, actually. This one's gonna be a fucker level, isn't it? This one's not going to be easy. Well, okay, what if I simply take you to the Lukuri? Huh? Shouldn't that work? I guess they just collide. Doesn't count. Okay. Um... No. But I can do this. Right? Why doesn't that count? didn't do anything different, but sure. And then I do this. Oh! Why? What is happening that makes you you so incompatible with this thing? There's no way it's hitting the bullets, though. No difference. No difference in what I'm doing. Yeah, I guess if you're just holding on to one of those... I don't know. In this instance, it's a chain, but they, they make up what it can be on a whim. Oh, that doesn't go high enough? Then how do you get it up here? Yeah, that's not gonna connect. But yeah, it just like automatically despawns. Um, I guess that's what this is for then though, right? But there's, there's no openings that are higher up than that, so how do you get it in there? Um, let me, let me have this over here. Oh, you want to guide the Moo all the way to the end and then you have to double jump off of it. Okay, um, that sucks, but I guess I can do it. Failed you. Hmm. This is like the reverse of how I usually have the blocks, but I guess it works. Wait, what? What? The moves can get shot by the bullets? That's lame. Oh god. This is a lot to juggle. Holy shit.
Yeah, if you like, if you're just off screen enough where this guy doesn't spawn in until the end, like then you're fine. Um, okay. If you walk into like the side of the spikes, do you still die? No, you're fine, you're fine. Okay. Okay. And you double jump and you're fine. <gasps> what? Guys, I'm not I'm not so fine. Well, I've proved it can be done though. careful with the health right now, but I'm kind of working through it. I'm working through some issues. There, I thought I was standing on ground last time, but I guess I wasn't for some reason. Now I can just use you for a normal double jump, and now I have the key. To... God, I'm so gonna die on the way back, though. That'd be such a griffin thing to do. still up here? It is. Now would be a good time. And lock it in. So that's not any of the stars yet. That's just, I don't know, I guess now I pick whichever room that I won. A little bit of a titanic monarch zone, huh? give me the height that I desire. You will give me the height that I desire. Thank you. <laughs> I want these two up here so bad. There we go. Okay. Oh, this needs three. Oops. This room is like an open area with like no challenges and I like did that to myself. Oh yeah, I was trying to like double jump off of the last one, but I guess I technically don't need to do that. Or don't I? Now that's still how you get to the upper thing though, isn't it? Oh, but you don't need to bring a red up here, you only need the blue. Okay, okay. That makes a little bit more sense. Or does it? Hmm. Oh, and that's not even like, that doesn't have anything to do with how to get up there. Well, I'm really not sure how to do it. Oh, look at that. You can get like additional height by using the, the part where it like loops back to you. Interesting, okay. Yeah, you can get a triple jump where there would be a double. Well, this sure would be cool if I could bother to pull it off again. Oh! I'm getting closer and closer each time, though. Oh! They always make these jumps that you have to do, like, so perfect and precise. With, like, the placement of everything. So I have to somehow, even though I have the star, this is not optional. Like, I need the key to unlock other places to get the rest of the stars. Um, I guess I could reuse the technique that I used from before, but 
The technique that I used from before involved... Oh! Well, I get it now. Yeah, like I didn't want to discard this. There we go. And... no remaining gems? Nope. Alright. Let's get out of here. Oh! <laughs> I saw- hold up, hold up, hold up, this is really funny. When I was like holding onto the bottom of the chain, you see how the key is like casting a shadow? Like the icon of it casts a shadow, right? So when I was like at the very bottom of this, I thought that object to the upper left was a grill. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be a satellite. The cyber grill. Oh, that's just here? Okay, sure. If you want to give it to me like that, then I, I won't stop you. Oh. Alright. So I think that's all the side shit already, but... The place I want to get is... Okay, so I need to get both enemies. I think I get it, though. This one makes sense. I might be doing these in the wrong order. I assume that these, like, ramp up in complexity somehow, maybe? Yeah, you just gotta hit that and then do this. Oh. But you need this to be turned back on to throw it up here. So you would want to, like, throw it from a distance and then, like, still be close to that switch? Makes sense enough, though. This is not, like, a crazy precise thing like the last one was. Or is it? Or is it? Okay, there we go. So jump and throw. And get this. And there you go. Like, that's not that bad. And that's considering I already got the key and all the other collectibles. Relative to everything else, this one, this one was going easy on me. Like, that's already two-thirds, baby. And this is the final level we're talking about here. Come on. Hmm. Where's the Lacurian? Here, even. Just so vast. Whew, okay. So that's like a yellow, I guess. Oh, cool! Alright. Is there any other stuff that we need to do besides that red one near the top, or...? No, we're fine. That one's gonna be a pain in the ass, though. Because you're going to have to, like, climb the chain in an attempt to, like, outrun the Lakori that's, like, I guess chasing you down. I can't unsee those as grills now. <laughs> I just want a grill, for God's sake! Oh, no. This is what I feared all along. What the fuck is this room? Oh, is it going in like an infinity shape? I don't want to do that. I believe that's what's happening, yeah. Oh, this is so odd. I think I want to grab some of these moves? I don't know. Oops! Klonoa's corpse is just endlessly flying around in this block. This is what I was afraid of! I think, like, if you're standing on the block, and then you touch the moo, it automatically poofs it? Like here, like this. Oh, no, I still take damage. Okay, I don't know what the fuck is going on then. Well, that's all the thingies, by the way. Hmm. And these- none of these are custom either, I can't redirect these. 
So that's the one that I want to grab in advance, otherwise I get hit by it. Or just, you know, damage boost it. But then you lose it when you come to the top. There's no holding on to that. But you need to have one of these in place. For getting up here. Oh. I guess it's just a really precise jump. Weird. I still haven't found the Lucorian here. Oh, there you are. This probably, like, makes the rest of everything else make more sense, though. Because now you're just, like, you're, you're just touching them, you know? Oh, that's how you avoid the spikes! Look at that! That's fun! Okay. Oh, neat! Oh, that's where I'm supposed to bring this to! Oops. Can you imagine if I landed that shot? Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, this is gonna be weird about how you have to time it, isn't it? I can't even do this at my own pace. But it is, you know, on a cycle, so... Hmm. Yeah, that shit getting popped isn't really very good news. What a weird and awful last room. What did I say, though? I always said that these were gonna come back to get me. Wait. So what? what is the red thing for? That's gonna be an extra life. Or it's the sunstone, neither of which I want. I've got all three things and I've got all the gems, I'm leaving. I call that a win. See, look, there's bitches here, there's bitches here, there's bitches all around. So I'm gonna throw at you and then start climbing like crazy. How do you do that? How do you do that? That's such a huge distance you have to ascend! Okay. I think it's making sense to me. You want to get the one on the right first, and that'll, like, let you, let you get up the first half. And then throwing at the one on... Oh, well, I touched that wrong. Throwing at the one on the left will, like, extend that time. Oops. <laughs> Every time with this fucker! I'm lying and wait. Okay, okay. Yes. Yes. Where am I taking this? That is such a long sequence! <gasps> oh, that was so close! This is so mean. Like, I've got all the collectibles. By, by any means, I should have won by this point. But they're, like, making me work just to, like, deposit my stars. Honyo! Oh, no. You said it, Klonoa. At least you have my hearts back, though. Was a little bit worried about that, even though there's not really any true penalty. Oh, it went over! Yeah, I, I like to throw that when I'm, like, already up a little bit. Because then I buy myself even more time. Oh! <gasps> this is, this is, this is it. That's the last level. No more puzzles!
the last GBA Clonoa also had like a like a pretty cool final boss. 18 damage. That's the highest I've ever seen that number go. Holy shit. Show me the Pac-Man. It's kind of there. <laughs> Versus Gantz. Oh, this is gonna be sick. Naga Poco's hint. Naga Gaga, at last. It's the final. Make it to the goal. Do you mean finale? Before your rival. Clear all monsters from your path and aim for victory. Nagaga. Me? Nagaga. Wow. It's so pretty. Don't you think, Gantz? Do you want to enjoy <laughs> Well, so far, so good. You trust Garland, don't you? You fool. Huh? You really think he's the type to just hand over the prize money? Hmm. If he doesn't, I'll just take it from him. By force. But why not? Hey, I make deals with no one. I trust only myself. I don't care if you think I'm a pig-headed, dirty player. Okay. <laughs> the winner goes after Garland, okay? I'll do as I like. Time to start soon. Just give me some kind of challenge, will you? Yeah, this is massive Sonato vibes. I get it now. Uh-oh, here we go. He's gonna be so fast, though. This guy's faster than Sonic. Oh, but I got all... I'm not done getting all the gems. Huh? Oh, I have to, like, keep using that to break the boxes. Oh, this is, like, a weird gimmick. There's gonna be, like, another layer, isn't there? Oh, this is gonna suck. Oh no, Gunts, don't turn me into a gear. <laughs> oh, did I like accidentally drop that into a cannon? I think I did. He was bombs there. <gasps> Diagonal thingies? Is that new? I don't think I've ever seen those like that before. Okay, where are the bombs? I can't scroll the camera. I need you is what I need. You gotta go in here. So that's a button, which I can use to hold down things. And then I need another bomb, and then I need another bomb. I'm definitely not winning this first run, though. Oh, that's just for the sunstone, though. I don't need that. Yeah, he's moving fast. We gotta slow this dude down. Maybe one more for the cannon, too. Just to buy a little more time here. Um, okay, well, we've got 15 and a star. I'm gonna count that as, like, we definitely got all of the gems. I don't think there's anything to worry about. Whoa, spring. I don't think I've seen these the entire game. Or I just have a very bad memory. Hmm. Do I need to, like, pick up a dude and, like, go backwards? I do. Shit. I'll let this happen first. Oh, that was probably a bad idea, huh? Oops! Yeah, maybe, you know, literal definition of burning bridges. No checkpoints either. I wasted, like, a lot of time trying to figure out this shit. This is immediately going to be a good time save.
and I was hoping if I just threw it at something that maybe it would land, but unfortunately, no. Good thing this heart's here. Oh, right, this is for the extra sunstone. I don't need that. I do need to, like, get out through here, though. He's already got a hell of a lead, huh? Okay, but this is 5 out of 30. I, I, I'm clearly missing something, still. Yeah, I missed something. I gotta go back. Oh, no. Is it the thingy, like, up here where you have to, like, grab the dude and then... Isn't there something up here? No, I guess I got it wrong. There it is, there it is, there it is. Come on! Oh, hey! Didn't even consider using the cannons to slow down. I was just gonna sit here and waste time. One more, one more. One more, though, and then I'll just, like, hit the road immediately, and all these paths are already open for me to exploit. And I'll move so fast. I'm gonna fly, baby. Kill him? Hmm. Right, this is what I- this is what I was thinking I was going back for in the first room. But, uh, yeah, having that ground there makes that so much easier to do. Um... So that buys me time, but I still need to- I do need to break this ground, that is necessary. Because I need that button. <sighs> okay, okay. Uh, I hope I can, like, go back to break that, okay. Oh, there's so many boxes to break! Okay, none of these are gems, so I don't care. Fuck, Guns is going so fast through this, though. Hmm? Can I use these to break these? Oh, I can. Just fill the cannon, fill the cannon, fill the cannon. Huh? What? Huh? Oh, no. Wait, okay, so I have to throw down on this and then grab this and then throw this. Holy shit! Okay, that's 100%. That's 100%. That's 100%. I just gotta book it. Oh no, there's a boss battle. The fuck? Is this Garland? I don't know what I'm looking at. It is a hit, though. Do we need to, like, double jump now? I think I got that. Okay. Um, I guess. <gasps> Cannon! Oh! Wouldn't it be fucked up if, like, on the death screen, like, Klonoa, like, actually did, like, turn into a gear? That beeping made my heart explode. I can't- I can't take this. This game for infants is too stressful for me. Okay, yeah, but that's gonna go in the cannon. Hmm. Yeah, you really can't wait waste uh, too much time during this race segment. Because you need to save it for the boss battle. Come on. Don't need the first box, just blast with the second one. 
Memorizing the gem positions really does go a long way, though. Because I do tend to waste my time with that first button. Fifteen? We're good. Okay, get the bomb. Do not destroy the bridge. And I probably spent a few more cycles here that I needed to as well. So occupy the first tick with that, then do that, then do this, and then we're through. Okay. See, like, now that I know what's coming with this room, like, that that's much easier on me. On my soul. Like, you've just got to make frantic use of the cannons. That's how it's done. Okay, 25. We're almost there, we're almost there. Huh? Oh, right, this. One more in the cannon for good old... For the good old days! For the good old days! I wasted, like, more time trying to do that than I saved <laughs> from <laughs> actually doing it. This shit, like, actually does a good job at faking me out, though. Like, we're already tied. Let me use this while I'm waiting, I don't know. Oh, I think I got it. By accident, maybe. Oh, we're in the air again? Okay, sure. Cannon? Huh? Oh, it's doing this shit again. <gasps> what?! It can just destroy the arrows?! I feel like that should've landed, but alright. Okay, hold on now. You can just destroy all the arrows, though. Oh, we're just going back to this then? Okay, sure. Just a time-wasting phase to be evil with it. I'm gonna come back? Oh, whoa. Alright. One more of these, one more of these. He's getting way too close for comfort. No. 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 Please. Please! 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 No! Wait! That's supposed to count! I like that I shot him after he won. I feel like that comes with like a certain amount of like pettiness that I really admire. Oh, what do you mean I didn't get this one? This is an awful start! I need to find a cannon, pronto. Okay, 10 gems. I think we're on pace. I don't think I missed any yet. Yeah, that's 15. We're locked in. I 
That part does suck a little bit though, that if you do use a cannon like right before a door, then once the screen transitions, it's like immediately like cancelled out. Like it just, he's moving again. I need, I feel like I need like an even bigger lead than what I have now. See, so while he's stunned, that's the ticker. Then another stun. Now hold down the button and get the hell out of here. Gotta peel out. This is a good lead if I don't squander it. Can we like throw it though? Would be a good start. Oh god, it's happening. Let's uh, while I'm figuring this out though, let's like just load that, get something going. Like that buys me like a little bit of time, like a little bit. This shit's rough though. I guess the key really is to operate on the right side, because there's no advantage to hanging out on the left side. You don't get any additional springs, you're just you're just not as close to the things that you need. Like, he's already in here. Like, come on, though. Oh my god, I would've- that would've been an opening. Oh, hey. Never too late, I suppose. Did I get that? No, that's the attack color. That's the thorax! At least these turn into hearts and they get broken. Can I weave through that? <gasps> like, I'm pretty sure I just need one more hit, but this is not looking good. It never does. Like, I just gotta, like, hang out over here constantly, just to be careful about it. Cause I'm about to get those beeps like so soon, like not even funny soon. Like I'll just, I'll literally just wait to switch back to the spring phase. That should count as a flip. That's not a flip. Oh! Is the spider dude the final boss? The final boss is Gantz. I don't know what the fuck. The I think that's Darissa. I don't know. There's probably, like, gonna be one more boss battle after this. If it happened, it wouldn't surprise me, but also, like, this- this game, for some reason, the first GBA Klonoa had, like, lots of boss battles, but this has none. They just have races through levels instead, which I haven't- haven't been, uh, a particular fan of so far. They are difficult and stressful, but, like, I just wish there was a boss battle, and, um, and like the last two, they've like tried to combine the races with boss battles, and I don't think that's like to either system's benefit. It makes the bosses worse and it makes the races worse. Dorissa Hoomst? I don't know. One of the one of the Nagapokos told me. That's the wrong thing. I blew up the wrong thing. I'm like so frazzled. I like it invested so much into that last run. I'm like whiffing it right now. So I think the spider's name is Dorissa though, is what I'm trying to say.
You can use the cannons to slow your opponent down, which helps, but... Even with spamming that as frequently as possible, the boss battle takes so much time that you really have to just be, like, extremely well-considered with the race time to buy as much time for yourself during the boss segment as possible, but it's still really not that easy. Oh, I didn't stop him with the ticker! Rookie mistake, Griffin. Amateur hour. Maybe like one more though. Like a, like a stun that'll last like a little bit longer. No, that does equally the same thing and it just gave him more room to move. I don't know what I'm like throwing down into. Oh, okay, that just doesn't work after the first time. Sure, why not? Like, he's ahead of me right now. He's already in the boss room. This is a terrible run. Somehow I brought this thing with me, though. Oh, never mind. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't even get a chance to see the whole length of the race through. That's an instant restart. So you have to do that whole race and the boss every single time. And get all 30 gems. That was a perfect throw, though. That's insane. Why not? Let's buy even more time. Yup, 15. Okay, this actually is a good lead. Like, a really good lead. Like, this is a flawless run. Just about. Fuck, he's getting fast, though. If I can get to the boss room while he's like just now getting into like the second one, that'd be huge. Yeah, pretty minimal mistakes so far, actually. Yep, 30 out of 30. That's a huge lead! Oh god. Here we go with this now. Let's, uh, let's keep the cannon rolling, though. Let's try to maintain that lead for as long as we can before I ruin it again. I hate having to do this twice. 
The window scares me so much. And I'm so bad at judging this. There's no phase of this that I'm, like, good at. And then once these start going away, it's all- it's all over. Like, look, he's already in the boss room. He catches up so fast. Oh, you can use these side platforms in lieu of the springs, though. That's kind of nice. That should have landed, that should have landed. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Uh. That should have landed, fuck you. Give me hearts, please? How come guns are so good at this? Like, I can rarely get an opening. I'm spending all my time just sit standing next to the cannon now. Okay, they're on the ground. I think they're on the ground now. Yep. Let's make this hit count. It's not gonna count. Mm, I hate that when you're, like, standing in the arrow, too, you can, like, can't- oh, fuck. If you're just standing in the arrow, it gets cancelled out. Look at how that lead was squandered. It's so hard! It's so hard to land a hit! It's too fast! Like, I'm seldom dying to it. I think I only did, like, once. I just, like, need more time. I'm not gonna get that. Yep. I wonder if there is a way to get this gem without having to do the backtracking with the bomb. Like, how much of the diagonal thing you can influence. Okay, looking like another good lead. Maybe not, maybe not. This is getting a little yucky. Look at all this muck and guck. E yuck. 30 gems, both stars, let's go. Oh my god, not even on the boss. It's a good lead. Yes, come to me, come to me, come to me. Yep, yep, uh-huh. Oh, that, that didn't count as a hit. Mm, stop moving out of the way! Yes! 
Yeah, give me give me the bullshit phase now. I actually like want more hearts. Did I accidentally fucking hit it? Oh my god! Oh! <gasps> I won by accident! I wasn't even looking! I wasn't trying to time anything! And then one more bitch slap on the way out. <laughs> this is a bit of a sneezing on Sonic 06 and winning. Still a rank C. And now we get to witness the full force of Klonoa's rage and anger and evil. Whoa. He means business. Look at the massive frown. Oh yes! I'm gonna win this! Hey, you. You'd better watch out. <gasps> what? No! Drats will be made into a gear! Gantz! Terrific! Congratulations, Klonoa. Gantz did well, too. Garlin! Your promise! Free Lolo! No, everyone! Hmm, that's right. I don't like that the Naga Pokos are, like, actually not our friends. Hey, that's not what you promised! I said I wouldn't change them into gears. You are so talented. I'd like you to become my empire's electronic brain. Can you imagine? A griffin brain powered empire? Oh my god. Garland would go back into the Stone Ages. Oh, listen to that laugh. You'll be the backbone of my empire. Such an honor. What? Huh? Oh! <gasps> Klonoa becomes the electronic brain, and I'm a gear. This kind of thing really bugs me. Gantz! Don't get the wrong idea. There's something I want you to do. None of your lip. I'll show you what real strength is. <gasps> hey, you don't mind cleaning up a little, do you, Mr. Champion? Is it still gonna be a boss? Look at this fucking thing. Whoa! Poco missiles! Oh my god! Can I grab them? Oh, they turn into moves and they crash. Okay. <gasps> Gears. Whoa. Huh? Whoa, that force field sound. So what's the, considered the opening? This is a really cool sound for the GBA. What have you done? Oh, I guess I have to shoot at it before the gear comes back. That's the bit. Four, okay. Does the behind count as a weak spot? No. Oh, you can make hearts. Smile. That's not a weak spot? How does it count? Also, I just realized that they look like fucking minions. <laughs> They're minion missiles! Yeah, that's not a weak spot. Oops. It's not like I'm making any progress yet. What do you hit then? If there's a force field on the head, 
And the inside of the body isn't weak either. Hmm. I don't know what the tell is. Tricky to jump too. Like it's very like tall, I guess. Yeah, I'll take the heart over the hit. It's not like I had any ideas. Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely not like the missiles where you can just like get past it with like a little hop. You gotta like do a full throated jump. Like it's not into that little lower cannon looking bit either. What could it be? Kind of all of Klonoa's moves already, so. Maybe I have to try and grab the gear. I don't know. Not that. Not that either. Not that either. Like, it'd be cool if, like, occasionally you got, like, one of the electric thingies, and then you could, like... If it was, like, that other boss fight from Clonoa 2, the, uh, the, Lari the Lee Arena one. These are just like normal moves. I mean, the head seems obvious to me, but there's it brings up a force field. Maybe I have to throw at the head while the gear is out? No, but it's too high up when the gear is out. Wait a second, now it's red? Do you have to keep- is- am I doing that right? It sounds like too spooky to make it seem like you're doing the right thing. Like that doesn't sound hurt to me. That's just like a mysterious noise, I guess. Maybe that is the right way. I'll keep trying it, because it started as yellow and now it's red.
yeah, that's worth it to get the, the heart fills up then. Because there actually is, like, pretty quick progress that can be made here that I want to hold on to. Then again. Then again. Like, I'd really like to see what happens after red. Yeah, look, it's getting weaker! It's like an even darker shade of red now. <gasps> That's damage. So now what? Oh, it's like lowering? Oh, new form, new phase. That's gonna like come from behind, isn't it? <gasps> what? <gasps> it's like floor mounted. It's changed forms. Double gear, what? Huh? Huh? Okay, I can like jump up into it though. Oh, it can, like, crash into you? Oh, the bitches from the, the auto-scrollers! From the board levels. That's crazy. That's, like, the biggest cameo of all time. Still counts as a hit, baby. I tried to like weave it, but it got pinned between them. Okay, well at least I know what I'm doing now. If you're, like, good at this, it's really easy to, like, pin several of the bullets in a row and go from, like, about to die to, like, back to full health, like, immediately. But it's very tricky and it's very risky. And of all the hits to take, too, the gear is a stupid one. Yeah, they're like that. It's definitely a movement that I need, like, more practice with. Because once I, like, stop getting hurt trying to do it, then I'm actually, like, gonna be able to last longer. <sighs> Hope those hearts don't, like, expire. I did that. That's a new one. That's a new way over. Okay, 
that's like one more. Oops. I bet that thing's gonna like start speeding up later too. Oh! Why do I do this? Like that was two gifts and I made them zero. Oh hey, heart though. I mean, oh look, the heart that I ordered, the one that I demanded. Yup. Oh, it just like gives you a free heart too, that's nice. I didn't- I didn't want to take it, though. Huh? I'm really not sure how that one's supposed to behave. Survived? No. No survivors. It's a bit redundant. Ooh! Hey, though! Okay! Hey, okay, though! Good health and good hits in one cycle? Don't mind if I do. You gonna get me? Oh, you're gonna get me. Now, no good health and no good hits. Oh, <gasps> I have no idea how I didn't get hit by that. Holy shit, that was so lucky. No survivors. Mm. I wanted to like pick one of those up to like deflect some of the incoming ones. Specifically because I was thinking, hmm, I'm on low health. There's another way. And then I did that other way, and then I died immediately. I wonder if I would have made it out of that if I, like, just didn't try to go for the health. Oh, corner's never a good idea for the gears. Okay, so if you hit a Moo with a Moo, I don't think that gives you a heart. Like, it has to still be in the bullet form. This may be my my ultimate mistake. <gasps> this I've done like one hit and I'm already <laughs> at such low health. <laughs> I can't reach it. I hope that'll like wait for me. While I figure the rest of this out. Uh oh. But it's not gonna wanna spawn anymore because there's already one back there, I think. <gasps> yeah, so whatever I'm doing here to try and like make more hearts, I just can't do until I can get back to this side. Yeah, it's still here. So only one at a time then. Only one at a time. So like double jump up to that, I guess, and I get to keep this. Not really for any good reason though. Oh! And it's all undone. Oh, imagine if I got the double. I don't even need the health. I'm good.
Okay, that's like one more hit necessary, I'm pretty sure. This is like a lot of like hits per cycle though. It really is. I have to imagine it's gonna be like three phases of this. Okay, cool. Oh, oh! I wanted to hit the last one before it hit the wall. Oh, I also I just did this by accident. By accident. By accident, I reminded myself that I have save states. Hmm. It's so nothing though. I feel like that'd be so like disappointing if I use save states in the final boss. And also, I don't want to miss a single one of these uses of the, these 28 lives of mine. This is- I'm- I'm throwing this one, though. That run fucking sucked. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to splay my body in an uncomfortable, albeit gay, position. That's how you know I'm really focused. I don't even need hearts. I must train myself to farm for those, even when I don't need to. Like, I could, I could be getting hits right now, and I'm just not. Ah. Uh, I guess the pre-gear hit is itself a rarity. I don't think two cycles are even possible. Yeah, double moves, no hearts. Yes! This is how it is done. Actually, don't- do not take advice from me. This is not how it's done. Whatever I demonstrate, do not replicate this. Do not- do not try Klonoa 2 Empire of Dreams at home. Empire of Dreams is the first one. This is Dream Champ Tournament. So what Dream is Guns from, then? Like, that's just an OC. So many attempts since I even made it to the second phase, either. I keep getting like so in my head about this shit. There it is. Jeez. It's a little close to the wall to avoid this, though. Okay. At least I'm not wasting that this time. I know what I'm doing with this stuff right off the bat, too. Oh, I hit the gear before I could hit Garland! Yeah, at least, like, it is possible to do, like, a, a lot more damage. Like, double cycles are possible with the way these, are like, get distributed. What? 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 Should have been a heart. Should have been a heart. Should have been a heart. <laughs> God, that was such a good run, too. I got so far into the second phase, and so fast.
it really feels a bit scattershot whether or not you actually like connect correctly and get the heart. Because sometimes it just take more damage trying to like touch those bullets. Okay, there we go though. I never learned my lesson though, because when it works, it really does work. Baby Moo. I could just take a freebie with me and I'm at full health, don't mind if I do. Does it like actually let me? Because I sure would like to just throw this right off the bat and do damage. Yup! Like, that's already at red, and, I, and I'm at full health. Not to, you know, jinx things again, but... Like, that's one more hit, and we're off to the third phase. This has never been done before in the history of Klonoa. At least it'll probably give me another heart in the next thingy. <gasps> He's eating it! What the fuck? Oh no. I don't like the looks of this at all. I'm gonna have no idea how to what? Oh god, it is like Lee Arena. That, this is cool, though. Uh-oh. 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 Um. Um? Well, at least it seems the third phase, like, isn't as much, I guess. Because you don't have to, like, lower the force field each time. Like, it's just down immediately. I'll take it. I keep missing the gear! That's why this has started to go faster, is because I am getting hits on that phase, but it's still not easy to do. I guess I have no choice but to do damage for once. I'm just like constantly trying to get hearts and then not like not making any progress. Holy shit, that's the way to do it. That's a crazy cycle. Now imagine doing it on the one where they don't put out the gear. I might have wasted a lot of those throws. Still, though, that's kind of like a, an amazing rhythm. Like, this particular attempt has taken a while anyways, but like, the portions of it where I'm like, okay, it just does nothing. Uh, what was it? The portions of it where I'm actually trying to like, fight back, I am, like, making very quick work. And I also did, like, figure out how to destroy this next phase, so that's cool, too. Although not this time. I feel like it's harder to... 
have these bullets collide with each other when they're like coming from above, you know? Like it's still doable, but you don't like happen into it as easily, for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me that third phase for the second time, please. Like, wouldn't that be so crazy? Oh, <gasps> I got it from the back. Holy shit. Uh oh. Is it gonna like? <gasps> I made that kind of awkward for myself, didn't I? Oh boy. <gasps> Why? <laughs> Imagine if, like, actually damaging this, like, did hit stun though, and you could just, like, combo these, like, crazy. Like, this is still a good amount of hits for, like, the, the first go around, but, like, what if it was more? Yeah, I think now that I've, like, clicked into that rhythm, this is definitely, like, trivialized now, which I'm very happy with. Oops. Hold on to this, I guess. Maybe I can use that to, like, destroy one of the bullets really early on? Because I would very much like to be at full health, please. Also, I just realized that this background is, like, reused from one of the earlier levels, isn't it? Oh, I keep thinking that they're only gonna turn into moves when they go to the wall. It's not true! Don't believe that moves lies. <gasps> Can't you, like, get it from behind, though? Didn't we learn this? Yeah! You can just, like, throw through all that shit. Oh, those things, like, collided by themselves, it looks like. That's nice. Do you think those things are, like, always intended to show up during the final boss battle? Like, did they show up in that minigame, and then in the final boss, or the other way around? Okay, I'm gonna, like, get myself into position, like, right away. I'm gonna try at least. And aren't you glad? And then you just go on this side, and it's, and it's beautiful. And you just wait, and it's beautiful. Oh, wow, you're taking your sweet time, though, huh? Holy moly. Who are you gonna shoot now? Oh! <gasps> did I, did I, really, is that really that quick? Is making a lot of explosions and a victory theme. <gasps> oh, this is weird. This isn't how their relationship should be. Lolo, are you okay? That should be guns in his arms! Thank you, Klonoa. <gasps> Chipple! Hi, Klonoa. Oh, I missed your footstep sounds. This was so hard fought, so hard earned. Chipple! I'm glad you're okay. You had a hard time, huh? It looks like everyone's changed back. From being Gears. I thought we were done for. Anything's possible, as long as you don't give up. Holy shit. <laughs> it's 
this is some dream. Ah, uh, my, my empire. Garland. I forget what that one sounds like. Oh, Shinji Akari. You can't talk your way out of this. <laughs> Where did the dream cops come from? You are under arrest for fraud, kidnapping, mayhem, and other crimes. I, can you do that? Don't you have to, like, read, read, like, you have to say all the crimes? Do I have to say them all or it doesn't count? <laughs> hey, sweetie, are you, have you always been a cop or is this, like, a bit? I didn't realize you were a cop! <laughs> He's been a hard one to catch, so I thought I'd infiltrate his operation. What? I was not expecting Klonoa to ever say the line, I didn't know you were a cop! Wow, Klonoa, you're the best! A-cab! <laughs> it was nothing. By the way, what about Gantz? Still a gear. Yeah, I thought so. Hey! I saved him. So I'll just take the prize money. Hey, stop, thief! So, adios, amigos. Are you just really gonna let him do that? This is just junk. You can have it. Wahoo! Thanks, Gantz. Yeah, well, whatever. Oh, these are the credits. I was expecting like more ending. Huh. Well, that was our Dream Champ tournament. It is interesting, um, I guess in terms of, like, the gameplay and the worlds, it's a little bit better than the previous GBA Klonoa, but not by much. It's kind of just more of the same, with, like, maybe a little bit more flavor to it, I suppose. Um, I really didn't like the races versus the bosses in the original, though. Um, and story-wise, I think the G Klonoa won GBA went for, like, they, I mean, I don't think it landed particularly well, but it still tried to, like, go for, like, the tone that Klonoa ought to, you know? This is just kind of, like, lighthearted fun. Like, it doesn't have, like, a sad ending. You know, it's just like, oh, yeah, you won, you saved the day, the end. That's about it. Um, it does have Gunts, though, and it does have Lolo and Popka, and it doesn't have Hupo. So, those are all pluses. Oh, my God, the Nagapoko credits... Amazing. Oh yeah, and these guys. There's like competitors from like the other brackets that we don't even know about. That were like going up against Guns and Lolo and everybody. What was her combat moves? Doesn't like she go into Klonoa's ring? There's- wait, okay, so... Klonoa didn't have anybody in his ring that allows him to use the wind bullet though. And isn't- wait, what? Wait, I'm really confused. This doesn't make any sense in the lore! Also, I like the dude in the bottom right. They kind of look like the, the electric dudes, but like a person. I cannot get over I, I didn't know you were a cop. That was so fucking ridiculous. I guess that's a knock against it. But that also does mean that Klonoa gets to beat up a cop. So, take that as you will. Yeah, and then what happened next? Take the picture, Chipple. Pull the 
fucking trigger, Chipple. How can he even see what he's taking a picture of? He ain't got no eyes. Also, isn't this, like, still a dream? How are you gonna get it back when you wake up? You'll never have it again. You'll never... No, you'll just have memories. I'm sorry, the Hype Council Ignited Minds Tom Usher Design in Alpha US? Those were insane names, like, all at once. Back to back? Holy shit. Which of your friends are you? Tag yourself. <gasps> oh, this is cute artwork, though. And Guts is in it, too. I really hope there is higher resolution artwork of this out there somewhere. Or even just, like... Sometimes it, it looks hand-drawn, and sometimes it's very clearly, like, just very, very downscaled 3D renders. I can't help but wonder, like, where stuff like that is lying around these days. Probably just, like, gone, like, forever, like, dead. The end. Klonoa works. See, that's the beautiful thing, though, is that if there was ever a worry about making, like, another handheld Klonoa, like, the limitation of this not having any 2.5D elements is, like, not ever going to be a concern again. So, you know, you, you could make like, a handheld Klonoa, that is still 2.5D, and you could put it on the Switch, maybe. <clears throat> Anyways, um, that was Klonoa 2 Dream Champ Tournament for tonight, and I suppose for good. Thank you for watching. Um, yeah, this is good, like, wind-down music, and I say this not just because of the literal winding little handle on the icon. Um, I lost, like, half of my lives. I, like, I was, like, at 50 earlier tonight. I died on that boss so many times. Holy shit. Um, but thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed what you saw tonight, you can follow me here on Twitch or on YouTube at the Full Galaxy, where all the VODs are, plus highlights and more. You can also subscribe to me right here on Twitch if you particularly enjoyed the stream. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Pillowfort, and Discord. There is a Discord server where there are all sorts of channels for you guys to hang out in, uh, both on and off stream. And if any of what I just mentioned happens to interest you, you can check out the links to everything that I just mentioned in the Twitch cards below if you are watching this live or in the YouTube description, if you are watching the VOD. Uh, you guys have a good night. I don't know what I'm gonna play next time. There's li there's literally nothing left on the schedule but Spyro. I put it off as long as I possibly could. There's nothing left. Well, good night. It's time, it's time to wake up from this Klonoa dream into a waking nightmare. Bye-bye.